when you did become an actress at a young age, because you started really young, did you feel that pressure that you had to now bring in money to help the family because you guys were so poor? I can't imagine what that's like. I'm glad that I learned to work hard early and that I have like a work ethic that I can rely on and discipline and that it's expected of me. Like, I think it served me well to be somebody who cared about that and also to be mindful about money and not blown through it for ridiculous things that don't add up. You know, I don't need a big, I have a used station wagon. That's the, my favorite car I've ever had in my life. It's a 1976. Jerry Seinfeld must look at that car and go, are you, are you really driving an old? Uh... He, wrote it, he wrote in it with me for the very first time ever on like an early edition of Comedians Having Coffee and Cars. He wrote in your car on the that. The first the... time I ever drove it, it had just arrived from the middle of the country. And he <laughs> was the first person in the car with me. And it's a beautiful, absolutely exquisite boat. You take the subway a lot. Took it all day yesterday. Uh, no, 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 stop it. This is <laughs> this is crazy to me. A, a subway. I, what are you proving here? I mean, this I'm is not proving apparent. anything. What are you doing? Getting, Why would you, you do that? If you look at Google Maps and yeah. you put in your address, I'm going to say 99% of the time, the fastest way to get there is the train. It's just You're the truth. You're not petrified down there? Oh, God, no. Come clean. Something bad must have happened to oh, you I've down in that all. subway. I've what, seen have it you, all. what is the worst thing you've seen in the subway since you take the subway all the time? I mean, what I have you I've seen? I think I've seen what most people see who are regulars, which is people going to the bathroom. <laughs> yes. People clipping their nails. <laughs> right. People eating. People eating is barely an offense anymore. Uh, people, <laughs> you know, finding pleasure. Let's right. put it that way. <laughs> now, what happens um, when they see Sarah Jessica Parker? You're one of the most recognizable faces on the planet. I say hi. I have well, headphones on all the time. And I say, I'm so sorry. I can't take a selfie. Sometimes I'll say, uh, they don't let, they won't allow it. Who? And I'll say, the government doesn't let me take a picture. And what? that's confounding to people. So that just is enough time to move away. Oh, I'm, I'm always really nice. But I tell them, like, I'm, I'm terrible at selfies. I don't take them well. But what's your name? How are you? Or I'll tell them I'm on a phone call. I'm so sorry, but nice to meet you. You know, really? I, to be honest, Matthew and I got on <laughs> got on the one train on Pride evening <laughs> in the West Village. <laughs> and it was insane. We were just trying to walk from our house to the one train. It, it was absolute madness. But I was just like, let's just go to the middle of the street. Let's just, just put your head down. And, and I didn't have sunglasses. I didn't have any of my normal, like, headphone sunglasses. And it was crazy. 